Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I use Automate in my actual game playthroughs. To start things off, we're going to take a quick look in the house here. You can see I've got a bunch of tea plants. Every time the tea leaves need harvesting, they simply get collected into this chest. Also got all of my casks lined up and I can access all of them with this chest and any wine that is in here will get filled into the casks and once they're all to iridium quality wine, they'll get pumped back into the chest. Now outside is where the real magic happens. I've got a couple little machine groups that you can see. I've got a little coffee maker over here to the left of my house. But that's it. You can already hear the rustling. The rustling of the truffle diggers, our pigs. By using a mod called Better Junimos in conjunction with Automate, you can have it so that these little Junimo huts will pick up all of your pig's produce for you. Then, utilizing these floor paths, I've connected up all the Junimo huts to come across into my oil makers. So, Junimos pick up the truffles, they get sent to the hut, the piping sends it all the way through to this chest, where the truffles are getting put into the oil makers and then put back into the chest. Super efficient, best way to make money if you're using an automated farm. I'm also using the Junimos in their intended fashion to harvest my crops. And then I'm using a combination of different paths to send all of their produce to this chest. That way when I need to harvest all of my crops, I can just come to this chest and get whatever the Junimos have collected for me. I really like to keep things looking realistic. So in most of my sheds, I've got setups like this, where you've still got the lanes and it looks like you could be harvesting everything on your own, even though Automate is doing the job for you. But you know what my partner thinks is better than aesthetics? Money. This is her setup that she runs in her playthroughs. And it looks a little something like this when it's all going. Yep. So here's my nice little crafting station, I suppose you'd call it, where I've just got my furnaces going constantly with a crystallarium producing fire quartz so that I have a nice supply of refined fire quartz. I've also got a chest attached to my lightning rods and my solar panels so that I have a consistent supply of batteries. And over here in my set of four crystallariums, I've got jades being produced so that I can trade them to the desert trader for some stone. One of my absolute favorite things to make with the automate mod was my honey farm. Believe it or not, you can set it out so that you've got this perfect nice little arc to your honey farms. It looks cute, it looks cozy, you can come in, you can plant your one flower that you want at the start of every season, and then it just, it just chips away. You come, you check your chest, bam, fairy rose honey. I love it. In my greenhouse, uh, I've got all of the normal sort of things done in here with your ancient fruits growing and your sprinklers. But you can also link up fruit trees with Automate. If I tap the U key to see the overlay, you'll notice I've got little paths that come along behind all of my trees. And every day, the fruit will be picked and placed into this chest. Look at that. It even goes up in rank the longer the tree has been planted for. So you get silver after one year, pomegranates became iridium after four years of being planted. This section here is a little bit of a twofer. I've got my recycling machine over here producing bait and pushing it into all five of my crab pots. Then the collection from those crab pots is coming out and going into this chest and this recycling machine where I'm getting a nice supply of things like cloth, refined quartz, coal, and obviously tons of crayfish and snails. But on the right, I've got three fish ponds. You can put whatever you want into these fish ponds. However, for the longest time, I've had tons of lava eels. They produce roe. That roe is being produced into aged roe behind them. And then any of their produce is being pumped out into this chest. One of the nice things about the lava eels is they sometimes produce your spicy eel, but they also sometimes produce the magma geodes. Those magma geodes are automatically being pushed into my geode crusher, which I stack up with some coal from time to time. And then they're being cracked and giving me all of these extra minerals. It's nice because you'll sometimes get little bits and bobs to help you complete the museum. And let's be honest, none of us want to go and see Clint. He opens at a bad time. He's gone on Fridays once the community center's completed. If we can automate what he can do with a machine, why wouldn't we do that? 
And over here on the left, which you might have spied, is a whole bunch of trees in a cute little orchard. I've linked all of them up with paths as well, and there's a hidden little chest just here, and that's collecting us some pine tar, oak resin, and maple syrup. All right, here we are, bright and early on a nice autumn morning, and I'm gonna set up the system that I've been meaning to do for the longest time, but keep forgetting to do, just so I can show you guys how to do it. I've brought along some wood paths and a stone chest, because we are gonna link up all of the bins in town. So I think I'll put my chest somewhere easy up here where I don't think people go to. So I don't think this spot gets hit. I hope I've got enough paths for this. All right, two bins connected. Let's go, let's get the rest of them. Right, let's connect this one back up to the house down here. Alex, you're in my way. Okay, that should be all the bins in town connected. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bins connected. So that should be all of them in town. We're gonna to put on this final bit of wood and we're gonna see what comes through to this chest. First, nothing in the chest. Now, three green algae and a yo-yo cola, everything I have always wanted. A couple of other handy tips of how you can use automate on your own farm. I use automate in my coops. I use an auto grabber, then I place down some of the machines that will process the produce from my coop animals, followed by a chest at the end. All the produce comes out of here, and you can see, I've got a whole bunch ready to go. My barn also has one mayonnaise machine for my ostrich, and a couple of cheese presses for the rest of my animals. All of that is collected in an auto grabber and output into this chest at the end. So as the day comes to a close, so does the video. Hopefully you all got a couple of tips on how to use Automate in your own playthroughs. Let me know if you have any other ideas or things that you'd like me to show off. Other than that, Auf Wiedersehen, Tschüss, Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one.